All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with more of The Witcher. Last time, or, well, The Witcher expansion, Hearts of Stone. Last time, I uh, wanted to start out on stream so people could check that out. I decided, because uh, I, I couldn't record it the quality I wanted to using that. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'll put some stuff from streams up on the VODs, but for this, I really want to have the good quality and whatever, so I'm just going to record and just talk to you guys as we play and not do this on stream. So here we are at the place we needed to go to and it looks like it's on fire interesting well look who's here the witch with a stick up his ass what's new got a growth on your platter there you catch some kind of a theory pox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? <laughs> yeah, I was like... That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got to be carried away. <laughs> yeah, I, I love how they like to see. Even care. Yeah, okay. whatever. Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! Hmm. Let me go! Let me be! Shut up! I ain't with yous! Drank with yous! Fought beside yous! Did you kill me now? I'm one of yous! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. So what happened? What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Whoa, nerves a little raw? Why? You deaf! Get the fuck out of here, freak! All I want is to know what exactly is going on here. Well, you're not gonna know! Shut off! I'll leave as soon as you tell me. Aren't you a thorny prick up the ass? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer, have we? Now piss off! We've work to do. I, th yeah, they're not going to go for this, but I know. Uh, geared wants him dead. Keep still don't know why I'm here. Just what the fuck is it to you, anyhow? Nothing really. All this Just swearing is language, jeez. Cocksucker violated our chivalric code. Just one penalty for that. Death. What is this row? Are you not done with it? My ears with it from the screams. Well. Ah, Geralt. As you've returned, might I assume you've cleared the sewers? This game is not for children. Or have you not been there? You killed my father! Well... Not I. You lie, whore son! He seems that totally alright with that. Alone. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me. Out of fuel, for your father refused us hospitality. For this willful violation of the chivalry code, he was summarily executed himself. Anything else I might do for you? Take her away. <laughs> so, he wasn't concerned about the house burning down and then not concerned with a sword through his chest. Yep. Now, where were we? Uh... <laughs> really well. necessary, that whole show? Ah, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. So, are these this like Highlanders? You know Judging by the mark on your face. Yeah, I want to know what this is. I cannot be certain, but I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. You're immortal. Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Okay. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No. 
wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. Yep. But there are consequences. True. Not sure I follow. You know very little could hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. It all seems boring and monotonous. Well, I guess that explains the, the tricks to plow through that moment. Lack of caring Go further. about anything. Reach beyond what's known as possible. Hmm. All right. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything left to charred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gaunt are all dim. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That true? You know the toad was a cursed person. <laughs> he didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. I really like this story so far. Geared once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgir grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him, then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life and a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin, who is to fulfill my last three requests. My assistant. Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Love the animation on that guy. He's just constantly got that little bit of a smile. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. So, much like the Witcher world in general, like, a lot of shades of grey, very few just good characters. I mean, some just evil characters, but not always, you know, I, I'm very intrigued. Um, what he said about the prince. Yeah, I want to hear about You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Ephiri Dofa is something to disagree with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollered the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Oh, okay. Interesting. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossoli. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting. Carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him. And show him the time of his life. My second. Fine. This house seems tricky, enough. but and the third for a party. That's cool. To. Then we shall speak of the third. Dun dun dun. Any hints where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. 
Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my banders plan some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. Alright, so I guess it's time to grant some wishes. be too hard. But the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Ooh, the only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenford. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Well, now it'll put the Emperor on the party. Never to necromancy. necromancy. So is we can have your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt. Geralt. Geralt, aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von every blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this I think thing? Go poorly. Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You don't know. Alright, cool. <laughs> you wait like this guy will have some banter nice with you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Let's do this. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Love you, girl. Say I need help. Where will I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. Alright, cool. So I do think that we will do the uh, house thing first. Why not? Dead Man's Party. Yeah, I, I kind of I really want to see where the dead man's party go. I'm kind of less interested in this one, so I think I'm gonna do that one first. All right, so where? Oh, sweet. All right, so we got to go back like to main town. That's not too bad. So let's head out and do that. So yeah, I am really intrigued by this story so far. I like the characters. Um, like I said before, CD Projekt Red does a really good job with their content making their stories interesting um i want to show some of the side quests on here uh but probably not all of them probably not going to do a lot of like treasure hunts or things like that i mean those are mostly just combat and a little bit less interesting so i want to focus on kind of the interesting stories for you guys to check it out so shouldn't be too far here so ask for the owner This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? 
He's probably just some cute things. But... Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vaclav <laughs> reporting, and this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful, you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, <laughs> soldier? Not a thing. Should I like this guy somewhere. There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Poor Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell the war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that confidential <laughs> military information. <laughs> Wait, wait. All right. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Uh, gonna let that hold you back? He's probably not gonna take a bribe, but... I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. There we go. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior. Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. Cool. That was easy. But my orders... Fuck your orders! <laughs> Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention! Shut your giggy! Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Suck it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! <laughs> uh... Alright, so what's going on here? Yeah, I gotta leave our weapons. Boo! Appreciate the help. Just night. Always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. <laughs> Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Hmm, may I want to know? What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitist of the Maribor School. Van de Nu, long indeed. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? There you go. Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little a keep his soul. But, Horst would like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only have a collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. All right. So, we're going to an auction. Girls, you thought of buying real estate? Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kavir? Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. <laughs> Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. 
Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a wreck fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir. Oh, Maxie, there's Gwent. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> it's time to play some Gwent. Yeah. Oh, so... <laughs> Halbert! It's been years. Allow me to introduce you. Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right. Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Nope. Northern Realms. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard. But I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know him. No, really, I just like the deck. Geralt Heaves, a positively superb player. Su yeah, so if you're not familiar with Gwent, it's a little card game within the game. Start, so... Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Yep, totally. So we'll get to see at least um, one match here. Uh, yeah, why not? Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, might you have a wee word? Yeah, so I'm probably not going to play a lot of Gwent on uh, these videos, but I definitely want to play at least one well, round so you guys can check it out if you haven't seen it before. Together. I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. <laughs> 10%. I find this for your sorts, okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my trade, friend. Coin that a stink. So, what'll it be? Yeah, whatever. I'm not really worried about it. You did it. help with the guards at the door. All right. 10% of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a 15? Don't push it, Vimy. All right. Game on. Alright, so it's been a long time since I played Gwent. My deck is pretty good. Um, I was playing a lot of monster type decks. I'm going to take at least one of the Biting Frost out. Um, I pretty much have no frontline guys that can be affected. I'm just going to leave two in there. So basically, if you uh, haven't seen Gwent before, you uh, get a certain number of cards. Uh, you don't technically get any more cards. Um, get rid of you. And uh, this guy. I don't know. But you can draw more cards based on cards you play. So we did get maybe the best card in the game here, this mysterious elf. And it's nice we have biting for us in case he really buffs off his, his front line. Basically, you play a card each round or pass. And if you pass, uh, turns over. Whoever has the highest score at the end of the round wins. Uh, first one to two wins gets it. But you don't get your. Uh, your cards back so you have cards for the entire game and you play up to three games so i think i'm just going to go ahead and play all my dudes in the front line and then use this weather card to basically wreck his front line so oh okay he's got a decoy so he's gonna take that that's fine though all right so we'll keep playing dudes now he may have like a clear weather card so basically weather affects one of the three lines of the game front middle or back Wow, we're both just collecting cards. Okay. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put some normal stuff out here. So that this match is probably not going to be easy. Alright, what? He passed? So we're up 12 to 11. He's not going to play anything else? Uh, sure. Alright, so we got one win. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised by that, but... Alright, so uh, each of the four factions also has their own ability, and Northern Realms is, if you win, you get to draw another card. So we're going to go ahead and right away play another of our spies, get some more cards. Uh, that tends to be the way I like to play, I tend to get, like, to get as many cards as possible. And then there's like regular cards, and then like this, and then all these over here are hero cards with this banner. 
they basically can't be affected by anything, which is a positive and negative. You can't buff them, but they are, uh, you know, can't be debuffed either. So, in a lot of these, you know, our characters are pretty much they're all characters and monsters from the game. But we're just gonna keep. I don't know. Might as well keep playing this stuff and we'll see how it goes. So, like, this horn over here will, like, double everybody's attack in a row, but it won't buff the heroes. Um, we're gonna save some of the 10 heroes and just, you know, try to keep ahead of him and see what he does. He may have some crazy thing where he gets out, uh, monster decks can, and I'm trying to figure out what his deck even is. It seems like he's playing all kinds of different stuff. Um, yeah. I'm gonna play some normal cards as well. I have the ability to basically buff my back line with a special ability. Okay, so that would destroy normally the highest value guy I have in the front row, row that card special ability, but uh, the cards I have out can't be affected. So he's got six cards left. So it looks like we should pretty easily win this. Some of the games are really interesting. There was a tournament in the uh, base game that uh, was pretty fun. I managed to beat all my opponents on the, in the first try, but it was pretty tight there for a while. Um, let's go ahead and wreck his front row a little bit and see if uh, he has a clear weather in his four cards left. Yeah, so we're way ahead. We got a bunch of cards. This should be pretty simple. Of course, he plays a Scorch here. I guess we'll lose. It kills the highest value regular card. So I think I'm going to throw this down. All right, so he buffed him up to two, basically. Uh, and that way, a Scorch only hit that card if one comes out. All right, two cards left, buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and trigger our ability. So we pumped up all these cards back here with that. Didn't have to use a card. Already passed. Yeah, so we pretty easily won that. Like I said, we have a pretty good deck. I spent a lot of time playing Gwent in the original game, or, you know, the base game. So there you go. All right, so we beat that dude. Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have or something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the garb, Hilbert. Before Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. All right, so... Let's see here. So we got to talk to a couple... So can we talk? I don't know. Really does suit you. All right, so let's talk to this dude. Yaramy, uh, might we trouble ye a wee spare? Mm -hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Hm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes. Whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Nothing wrong with good food. Do you know anything about painting? Uh, no. Well, I don't, I don't want to say, like, I don't care, because I don't want to disinterest this guy. This might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Oh, uh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Noob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear. Oh, God, please don't put me to a test. That should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Noob, the master from Maribor. Oh. I have no idea, so.
I don't know. I like the battle scene one. We'll go with that. The battle piece, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure that's wrong. You err deeply. I bid you <laughs> adieu. Yep. What a jackass. Yeah, fuck him. Typical Arista cunt. I've grown accustomed. It's an interesting word. All right. Money. Oh. Duke All right, here we go. Greetings to the Last person we're to talk to before the auction. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Yep. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin. What now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Interesting. Swords, gear, medallions. Yeah. Where did you develop Why this interest? I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations. Dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Huh. As a mayor? Do you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School um, of the Wolf. Can I have it, please? Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know. I want to see where this goes. I've never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell. See if we can't make a deal. All right, so what stuff does she have? Are they all, yeah, all diagrams. Um, I don't know. I don't tend to do a lot of uh, crafting and stuff like that. So although, oh, what the heck? But let's, uh, I, I do craft some armor, and if this stuff is really good, a 235, is that better than what I have? Um, because it does show the stats down there. Oh, let's just buy this stuff. We'll see if we end up liking it. Now, do I have anything she is really interested in? Uh, just, yeah, I can sell those runes other places or whatever, so, all right. All right, let's see what she's interested in at. I wonder if this Viper no, armor is really good. But Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony. That awesome artifact? I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. Really? It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Find an earring? Sure. No problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. I wonder if this is going to have a uh, cool story element because fetch quest sort of things. Mm, some spilled wine. All right. Nothing else. Mm. So what's going to happen? There's no earring out here, is there? Oh, she just wanted to talk to me. Okay. Yeah, I figured it was something like that. None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do, do it is Vesemir. He was a tin shorter than you. I was hoping it would be. Mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he? If you don't mind my asking. 
Well... Actually, I want to know. I want to hear this. Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. Oh, Vesemir, you were a player, huh? A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind yep. his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued. Then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Oh, Vizmir. You play a... <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. So, spoiler oh. if you didn't <laughs> know in the uh, base game, but... So yeah, Vizmir was basically me. my mentor. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit mad woman so This is a pretty cool little touch. I like this. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. Yeah, that's how it works. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. It's a neat little touch. I mean, this game is, is really good at that. I mean, there, there are some maybe annoying things, but in general, there's really neat story moments in that all throughout. Or references to Fury Road. Alright, so... We did that. Alright, here we go. Gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, long lost. Come with me to the fort. I won't see much elseways. Alright. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Bimmy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horst Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to beg? Uh, I don't have a bunch, and I need I a bunch of money for. Uh, tried to sneak me in here, I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ah, you know that uh, guy does not match runes and stuff and weapons and armor, but. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Yeah, why not? 200's not too bad. The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids <laughs> 250. Do I hear 300? Uh, I'm gonna let her have it. Going once, twice, I'll going watch it. thrice. The Honorable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going. Watch it have like the uh, 350 going once, the twice. coolest treasure ever in it. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. That dude does not Proceeding look happy. now to lot number two, a canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. <laughs> 
truly a bargain. <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. Yes. Practically north. So Starry Night by Van Gogh. I, I really like that painting, even though it's kind of yes, cliched and everywhere. I so I got to bet on that. Once, Just to appreciate twice, the... Uh, going thrice. Sold. Sweet. Van Rose, Starry Night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eye. Probably won't be able to do anything three, with it, but whatever. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. What's the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor? Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Oh, why not? I don't want to see where this goes. Incredible. With the white haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. <laughs> A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once. Somebody's going to bed. Going twice. Sold. Oh. Invaluable spectacles to the white haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. No Watch, this stuff is not going to do any good whatsoever. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound, please partake. We'll resume shortly. And I'm spending all this money I need for the crafting guy. Oh, Geralt, look! Horse Basudi! Come on, afford some other cocksuckers stealing. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Gonna be unhappy that I bought some stuff. Or oh no, this is the dude we gotta talk to. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia. Who comes uninvited? Oh uh, yeah, let's do this. What you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you, an itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. Dude, that's not cool. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Yeah... I'm... Right. I don't want to, like, blow him off, even though he's not exactly Maximum being friendly. Maximum Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen! No reason to lose... What's up with this house? These are voices! <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Yeah, I don't see any reason to not, to be honest. From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out, and he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... Well, that could have gone no better. No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. So, what is up with this house? I don't think Geralt would have Law says we're to let them throw him down. Law don't say when, though. So, we'll do it, aye. Oh, nope. The singing shite out nope, son. The Not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen Bring our it. muscles a bit. Giving me no choice. Okay. Geralt, don't get in between them. Alright. I thought it was going to be harder, but whatever. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though. So you can Lost. sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. 
Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Yeah, oh, I kinda I do. Don't know I don't know what's going on. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosoldi's house alone. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist? Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. We're seeing you. I hope. Alright, so curiouser and curiouser. Alright, so where's the nearest fast travel point? So where are we going to go? Okay, that's not too far, but there's a fast travel point nearby, so we'll run down here real quick. So, it seems like... I don't know. Like, I wonder if this thing isn't really a house, if there's something, you know, odd going on with it. Because that seems really odd to be... <coughs> Excuse me. That seems really odd to be upset that I asked about a house. So, definitely want to find out a little bit more about this. Let's go here and find out what the herbalist has to say. Yeah, um, definitely intrigued. A lot of strange stuff going on. All right, some more guards out front. Oh, the stupid fallen. All right, actually, and let's go. Yeah. All right, so recharge. That's it. Yeah, you come off all by yourself, and then we wreck you. All right, nice. Mean to do that. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh wow, he's getting that block up quickly. Yeah, we were. I really uh, want to take this guy out. Oh nope, not happening yet. See if we can finish. Nope. Hit. Oh boy. All right. At least we didn't take too much damage. So these guys are almost done. All right. Get out of the way. Nope. This way. Yeah. These guys are kind of hard to get around. So we'll take the easy path. All right. So why? Well, obviously that dude saw us talking. So probably why there were people coming to. Uh, get to this guy before we got there. Hmm. That was rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? We? <laughs> My, I'm the precise. You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. It's a trap. No, I don't know. All right. So what is going on? This house thing. I'm super intrigued. All right. somebody else here. You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. I spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You want I can count on. 
I mean, he's not gonna tell me, but... Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stake on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage, just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow, you won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? Alright, he's not going to tell me this either, but... The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What do they take? Bliss to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? Alright, yeah, I figure he's not going to tell me anything. I'm but not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the We just need a whole cost cloak and a wheelbarrow. But there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila. Simple. Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker and a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I? Well, that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. Alright. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to agree. Really to progress story, so let's do it. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We'll get noticed. Alright, so... Breaking artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorite is Eveline Gallo. A circus artist, no better. Yep. We want her in the team. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities: rhythmic gymnastics. Uh, breaking and entering. Not officially, no. But I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. I think that that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty, the halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felt monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cop from the roof of the town hall in Nova. So, the half Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Northern Grand. I mean, he looks pretty cool. Be careful. He's modest but in yeah. size, but apparently wicked dangerous. Alright, so what else do we got here? Alright, opening the vault. Who do we have? 
Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. I love how there's like these little cutscenes and everything explaining everybody. This is a really well done DLC. Bolt door for him should be his signature. Impressive. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonator some time ago. He married, sired some little ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plane turns down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. I like that he removed the safecracker rather than. A few days back, by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. As far as I know, the troops up. made camp east of Oxenfurt on the right bank of the Pontar. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. All right, last but not least, what's this about culling the patrols? I told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spy at the soldier's nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, I'd say. To raise suspicions. Hmm. Now the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, and then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. So what are you going to do while I'm doing all this stuff? All oh, right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all yeah. done. Yeah, sure you do. Back here. What then? Then we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways, all together. All right, so there we go. Um, we got our quest for what we need to do for this house quest next. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be back uh, pretty soon, continuing this, uh, w whatever this house thing is, and, you know, assembling a crew. So thanks a lot for watching, and we'll be back again soon. Be sure to check out uh, JB Subtle Gaming also on Twitch and Twitter. And uh, if you're enjoying this, please go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up with more of The Witcher uh, Hearts of Stone. Again, thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you guys again soon. All right, bye.